The Prime Minister Narendra Modi has paid tributes to Rani Bellu Nachiar on her birth anniversary. The Prime Minister said, remembering the brave Rani Bellu Nachiar on her birth anniversary. Her indomitable courage shall keep motivating the coming generations. Her strong commitment to fight colonialism was remarkable. She personifies the spirit of our Nari Shakti. Raksha Mantri Shri Rajnath Singh inaugurated Kalpana Chawla Center for Research in Space Science and Technology at Chandigarh University. He also launched a scholarship scheme worth Rs 10 crore for the wards of defense personnel of the three services. In his address, Sri Rajnath Singh described the establishment of the research center as an important step towards strengthening the space sector of the country. The Supreme Court has decided to shift to the virtual system of hearings for two weeks from today in view of the rising COVID-19 cases and concern over the Omicron variant. In a statement issued yesterday evening, the Supreme Court administration said all hearings from today will be through virtual mode only for a period of two weeks. In order to ensure mineral security of the nation and to attain self-reliance in the area of critical and strategic minerals, the Ministry of Mines has created a joint venture company, namely Khanij Videsh India Limited, with participating interest of National Aluminium Company Limited, Hindustan Copper Limited and Mineral Exploration Corporation Limited. This initiative aimed at giving further fillip to Atmanirbhar Bharat will cater to the requirements of crucial sectors such as e-mobility, renewable energy, medicine, aerospace, aviation, etc. Union Minister for Ports, Shipping and Waterways at Ayush, Sri Sarmananda Sonowal, today announced that the contract has been awarded for Haldia Inland Waterway Terminal and the jetty will be soon operation for sending Exim and Inland Cargo to Pandu Terminal in Guwahati connecting the northeast with Kolkata by a national waterway too. This will provide an alternative to the chicken neck route for easy and cost-effective movement of cargo to and from northeast to the foreign countries and other states of India.